This is the Wave Genius Elliott Wave forecast for June 24th, 2014. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> anyway, uh, on the SP six month chart, if you look at this chart, it's like if you're an Elliottian, if you don't see this, okay, you're blind. I've been like looking at some new websites and new blogs and all this crap that's been popping up everywhere. And just about every single idiot out there who's doing who's running a blog with Elliott Wave has the big arrow of doom pointing down. Like it's like everybody's calling for a crash. <laughs> yeah, and it's like it's an insane like how I have to battle through all this shit. I've been I've been I called like every move since two thousand nine essentially. Calling for like in two thousand January two thousand twelve I called for a third wave to 2251 or 3550 in the S&P 500, January 2012 in a video, on a YouTube video, dated, postmarked, said that we're going to hit 2251 S&P 500. At the time, S&P was 1357, 1357. So it seemed like a, some wild and crazy target. And um, yeah, so I stuck by that target. I made a lot of money. My website's gone crazy. Everything's going crazy. My life is great, and, you know, and those guys, like Dan Eric, Dan Eric's website has turned into dust, okay? Prector has turned into dust. All these guys have turned into dust. You have these wild people roaming the internet talking about crashes every day. <laughs> I love it. It's so, it's hilarious. Anyway, back to what I'm seeing on the chart. You guys, you can see it's pretty obvious what's going on. It's going on in the six-month chart. In February 11th, there's wave one which was about 60 points in S&P, perfect zigzag wave 2. I'm talking A equals C, right to 1815, 1814. Wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, pretty simple. Wave 1, wave 2, wave 3. Okay, the reason why, I'm being, the reason why I have the sarcastic tone is because I've been reading a lot of posts on the internet. How they're like A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and then crash down to zero. Have you ever seen these, these bullshit charts that are labeled by these people? These, these bullshit charts where it's like there's like 50,000 symbols and like 30,000 ABCs and XYZs in it and they're completely wrong and there's a big arrow of doom pointing down. Yeah. There's so many bullshitters out there, guys. There's so many bullshitters out there. There's people like who, like, who make it, the chart look really fancy with all these labels and all these numbers and these elegant little symbols and beautiful like like fans and parallel lines with a big arrow of doom pointing down, they're fucking wrong. Okay? They're fucking wrong. <laughs> okay? They've been they've they've held, had websites since 2009 and they're fucking wrong. Okay? I am always fucking right. So you have to listen to me guys. There's not gonna be a crash. Okay? It's not even looking like that. Look, the crash is gonna be up. A big crash up. Okay? Alright, anyway. Back to what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so basically, the S&P it went up s about 65 points. All right, zigzag wave two, perfect. Breakout above the top of the wave one, perfect. And wave three, it's pretty simple. One, two, three. So the highest target I have, if it travels uh, 1.618 times the first wave, would be about uh, 2100. Minimum target. Minimum target on this move 2100. But then there's 2251, and then there's 3550, which is the most likely scenario because. In bull markets, that's the what it is. Okay, bull markets 1.618 times the percentage gain of the first wave. In this case, it traveled one uh, two times. Okay, so S&P 500 went from 666 to about uh, 1250. Okay, that's a, that's a double, right? That's two. Two times 1.618 is about 3.2. Take the low of the second wave was about a thousand, and you, you about a thousand fifty approximately. You get the target of 3550. That is the most frequent, the most the most common bullish third wave in a bull market, okay? We are not going to crash, guys, okay? We are not. There's no way we're going to crash to zero, okay? We'll, okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I've been spending the past hour reading all that shit. I'm like, what the fuck are these people doing? I mean, really? They, they have these crazy charts... That have all these labels and like it's like da 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 da. Look at all my labels. Look at all my numbers. A B C X Y Z. There's even A B C's. Okay, get this. They put A B C's on the on like like the five minute inter intervals on a six month chart. A B C's on a six month 
on a five on a six month interval on a five on a five minute interval. Okay, and they look fans in parallel lines, all this fancy stuff, and they're completely fucking wrong. As you can sense, my frustration from reading all these idiots online who are doing that. Me, I'm like one, two, three, one point six one eight. That's it. And eight to nine times out of ten, I'm right. Okay. All right for the Dow. Yeah, I've been reading this stuff shit for the past hour. And I can't fucking believe it. Anyway, they're still they're still bearish. I can't believe it. What? After all this time, they're like, I I can't. I'm blind. My eyes. I can't see anything. I'm blindly looking at the chart, and I'm calling for a crash, like five waves. Blah 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 blah. Idiots. Anyway, for the Dow. Oh my god. Yeah, so the Dow went up about um uh twelve hundred points in the first wave. Perfect zigzag two back to the previous four. So two thousand points from the low of the two would target as high as eighteen thousand. So Dow ain't over. One, two, three. It's so simple. Look at it. One, two, three. One zigzag two wave three breakout above the one the one point zero zero of the first wave, and what do you get? You get eighteen thousand in the Dow. Okay. There's still plenty of upside, man. I don't, I don't know. I'm so, I just can't believe these people. It just drives me crazy to look at it. All right. NDX looks like off the lows, one, two, three. Full one, full one, two, three would target, uh, would have targeted, uh, let's see, 35, 30, 3860, I think. Let me see. It's hard to calculate. 200 times 1.6 is 300. Yeah, 38.20, but 38.30 is the highest thermal target in DX. NASDAQ thermal target would be... I've done these videos in such a long time. <laughs> anyway, um, like the, these type of videos. Um, 200 points times 300. So about 4,400 in NASDAQ. So we're, we're close to, to 1.68 of, of in the wave 3 right now. And um, so Nasdaq is pretty close to, it, but S and P still has a long way to go. So I'm I'm, I'm staying put right now, and um, that's it. But I had to do a video because, as you can see, I can't believe there's so many bullshitters, so many bullshitters on the internet, so many that I have to compete with every day. So many bullshitters, and like they they have these big fancy charts with. These gigantic fans and parallel lines and different colors and A, B, C, and X, Y, Z, and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little dash of this and a little dash of that. And what do you get? You get bullshit! Alright, that's a wrap.